Nicholas Cage is considered a monument, a time of Hollywood. For a wide audience of 8x or 9x, his films such as Ghost Rider or National Treasure were viewed as an unforgettable memory. Not handsome and flashy like many other Hollywood actors, but he impressed the audience by his somewhat eccentric acting. His eccentric personality manifests both on set and in his own life. And now, his career is precarious and his love is empty. That was what he had to face. In today's video, we learn together about Nicolas Cage, the eccentric and talented, but many bad habits of Hollywood. Born in a family with an artistic tradition. Nicholas Cage was born on January 7, 1964, in Long Beach City, California, United States. Birth name is Nicholas Kim Coppola. He grew up in a Catholic family with German and Italian blood. His father was August Coppola, a literary professor, and his mother, Joy Vadelsing, a choreographer with depression. His grandparents are composer Carmen Coppola and Italian actress Canino. They are immigrants from Bernalda, Basilicata, Italy. Perhaps Nicolas Cage inherited his uncle's genes, is a famous director, likes to do big business. Francis Ford Coppola, who has won five Academy Awards and is the director of hit movies like Godfather or Apocalypse Now, Nicholas Cage's two brothers are New York radio station staffer Mark Coppola and director Christopher Coppola. Among the three brothers, the youngest brother Nicholas showed his aptitude for the most performing arts and was pampered by his uncle. Nicholas is also the grandson of actress Talia Shire and cousins of directors Roman Coppola and Sofia Coppola. Film producing cousins Gian Carlo Coppola and actors Robert Carmen and Jason Schwartzman. He attended Beverly Hills High School, which is known for many alumni who became famous entertainers. With a passion for acting from an early age, right after graduating from high school, Nicholas enrolled in the School of Theater, Film and Television UCLA. His first non cinematic experience was in a school work by Golden Boy. Nicholas had burned his dream of becoming a movie actor after watching the character James Dean in the movie Rebel Without a Cause East of Eden. At the age of 15, he tried to persuade his uncle to give him a try with the camera. However, the young man's desire was met with silence from the famous uncle. Two years later, he changed his surname from Coppola to Cage inspired by the Marvel comic superhero series and partly admired the legendary comic writer Luke Cage. On the other hand, also let him assert himself and separate from the shadow of the famous uncle. Crazy Guy, like transforming in Hollywood. Extremely hated going to school, so after receiving a diploma, Nicholas Cage felt like getting out of debt. The first thing he did was to take part in a television show. Later, he tried his hand in film, but from the producer to the critics, no one liked Nicholas' cunningness. In 1982, Cage made his debut after the camera lens with a supporting role in the film Fast Times at Ridgemont. However, most of his plays had been cut. Hoping off his hopes, he turned to a job selling popcorn at the Fairfax Theatre, and he thought that would be the only path for his film career. Participate in reading the script with the auditioning actors for the film in the 1983 film Rumblefish directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Nicholas was unearthed by the uncle for a supporting role in the film. Next is the role of Randy, rocker punk. In the movie Valley Girl 1983, characters in Fast Times at Ridgemont High and Valley Girl have made the name Nicholas Cage a phenomenon of the 80s. Cage's landmark role in the film Leaving Las Vegas, he played Ben Sanderson, a scriptwriter who lost all his family and career caused by alcoholism. More and more deep into the deadlock, 
and finally have to seek death to free life from tragedy. Due to his brilliant acting and invested in image, an alcoholic man of Nicolas Cage earned him an Oscar Best Actor. Later, he made his mark in the dramatic action film Face Off, directed by John Woo Yu, senator in the film. He and actor John Travolta have to act in character swaps. From a family, loving cop turned to an unstable mental criminal, and vice versa. Nicolas Cage has shown great ability when transformed into two characters at once, sometimes soft, gentle, sometimes crazy, impatient and hateful. His role in the film Face Off earned him a Saturn Awards nomination for Best Actor. In 2002, a subsequent Oscar nomination, Best Actor. In the film adaptation continued to spread Cage's reputation. Don't follow the same path with action movies. He also invaded comedy and romance, appearing in projects such as City of Angels, 8mm, Bringing Out the Dead. But in the end, Cage's action movies were still more commercially successful and more remembered, though sometimes underrated by critics. Nicolas Cage started his directorial role with a low, budget television series called Sunny in 2002, and he also starred in the film. He also founded the production company Saturn Films and launched famous films such as Shadow of the Vampire in 2000, The Life of David Gale in 2003, and many other films like Lord of War in 2005, The Wicker Man in 2006, Next in 2007, Bangkok Dangerous in 2008. Acting Style, Extremists In February 2011, Cage said that at a certain point in his career, he realized that he had developed his own acting method. What he called the Nouveau Shamanic was inspired by Brian Bates' book, The Way of the Actor, in which he read about the parallel between witches and ancientists. Speaking of Nicholas, people immediately remember an actor boiling enthusiasm, protest, ready to eat raw cockroaches if the scene requires it, even crashing the car into something to relieve sadness. In some cases, he was willing to do everything just to protect his extreme acting method. In the movie Birdie in 1984, in order to feel the pain of his character as a veteran from the Vietnam War, Cage let others have two teeth extracted without anesthesia. He also spent five weeks with a bandaged face. When the bandage was removed, he was infected with acne and ingrown hairs. His passion for acting has reached its limit when he smashed a remote car from a peddler. Just to gain the necessary sense of anger for his gangster character in the movie The Cotton Club, 1984. In preparation for his role in leaving Las Vegas, Nicholas Cage trained to drink alcohol to study the behavior of alcoholics and to visit rehab patients in hospitals to observe their behavior. Sources said that during filming on, he was always in a drunken state to act in such a way as to achieve the best. Marsha Shulman, director of casting for Vampires Kiss 1988, said, Cage asked to be poured, Yogurt warmed up his toes to be emotionally stimulated in an emotional scene with Jennifer Beals. In 2011, he covered his face with white paint in an Egyptian emblem costume and surrounded by amulets to complete his role in Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. You are watching videos on LMT channel. Do not forget to visit the group's new channel, a compilation of videos about the royal family. Details see below the comment section. Empty Marriages Not only famous for his playfulness and extravagance, Cage also caused the press to waste paper on the love quickly come and go quickly. Not as handsome and handsome as many other actors in Hollywood, but Nicolas Cage is still famous for his many talents and amorous. Cage and Patricia's Affair, 
attracting media attention when it happened so quickly that only three hours after meeting, Cage asked Trisha to marry. However, Patricia is famous as one of the beauties, even the special of Hollywood cannot make her blink. After years of pursuing, she finally agreed to be Cage's fiancé. Nicholas and Patricia were married on April 8, 1995. For six years of cohabitation, the couple provided a source of life to newspapers on issues of conflict, quarrel, conciliation, and finally divorce on May 18, 2001. A leopard can't change its spots. Amorous love seems to have eaten into the blood of Nicholas Cage while pursuing Patricia. Cage still enlisted dating model and actress Christina Fulton. In 1992, Christina Fulton gave him a son named Weston Cage. After the broken marriage, Cage fell in love with Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter of the legendary Elvis Presley. According to the media, this is a whirlwind of romance and fast. Some sources claim that Cage came to Lisa not only for her beauty, but also for his admiration for the king of rock and roll. Because everyone knows that Nicholas is a big fan of Elvis Presley. Sharing about marriage with Lisa Marie, Cage said, I was very sad thinking about it. We should not have married. After only three months of living, there were quarrels between two people. Friends of Lisa Marie said that her relationship with the male actor was broken because she was a woman living for her family, while Nicholas only liked parties throughout the night. By November 25, 2002, the divorce application had two signatures, and it was sent to the court. A few years ago, Nicholas Cage caught the attention of the public when he was involved in assaulting his wife, harassing order and being drunk in public. According to a regional police, when Cage and Alice Kim, their third wife went through a house in a drunken state, Cage insisted that this was the house they had rented. Kim expressed his disagreement because he thought Cage was wrong. That was all it was, but Cage suddenly got angry, grabbed Kim and pushed him to the front of the house. Cage then began smashing some of the surrounding cars before boarding a taxi. Thankfully, Alice Kim was not injured. Cage had to pay a fine of $11,000 to be released on bail. And finally, despite having lived together for more than 11 years, amorous actor Nicholas Cage and waitress Alice Kim have also bombed their separate ways since 2016. Most recently, Nicholas's marriage was the focus of the newspaper when he filed for divorce young wife after only four days of marriage. Cage and makeup artist Erica Koik registered marriage procedures on March 23, 2019 and held the same day wedding in Las Vegas. But only a few hours later, the couple had an extremely serious argument outside the Bellagio Hotel. As a result, Nicholas filed for divorce on March 27. From the peak of fame to the abyss of bankruptcy, for audiences of the 8X, 9X generation who are addicted to action movies, Nicolas Cage must be very familiar to them. Once upon a time, Nicolas Cage was a monument on screen. But for now, Cage's era seems to be over. The films he participated in were constantly underestimated, seemingly unable to hold the audience as much as they used to. Cage is known not only for his talent, but also for his somewhat eccentric personality. Liking to play dominant and stubborn, it was his personality that pushed him into the abyss of debt, and the scandal began to besiege him. In fact, when he started to become a star, he was constantly spending money heavily on expensive hobbies. Cage's life is often ready to spend large sums of money on ancient castles in Germany and England, for lavish mansions in New Orleans and Rhode Island, or own a separate island in the Bahamas. Not only that, Cage also spent a range of supercars, from expensive Ferrari 
to limited edition sports cars of Italy. He spent $150 million just to buy incomprehensible items like a 67 million year old dinosaur skeleton. Two supporting snakes carry albino god, shark, crocodile, octopus, car, airplane. Two European castles, a pyramid, shaped tomb, a haunted house and many real estate areas around the world. Like a sleepwalker who is hard to wake up, Cage is so deeply immersed in the lavish prospect of the dreamland that when he wakes up, what he faces is huge debts and broken marriages. Nicholas Cage was once an actor with the highest income in the Hollywood movie Capital. Now his fortune is $25 million. He was dubbed the crazy guy, ready to go crazy on set and also crazy in his own life. Recently, Nicholas Cage continued to appear in many horror and action film projects, but has not been as enthusiastic and elite as before. His career was in decline, although his acting in many films such as The Runner, Mom and Dad, Vengeance, A Lover's Story, was rated quite well. However, the script itself and the movie itself were not very good, so it did not attract the attention of the audience. Recently, except for the two films that received many compliments, Mandy 2018 and Between Worlds 2017. The rest of Cage's films were blurred in the middle of a forest of other more prominent films. His newly released horror film Looking Glass falls into the same situation. Cage's success and talent are undeniable. However, it will not last forever if he does not preserve it. Currently, Cage is over 50 years old and no longer full of youth to be able to compete with other talented young faces. Misty and uncertainty are the words used to describe the career of a Hollywood hero for a while. Thank you for watching the video on LNT channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support the group. Don't stop.